Good morning, everyone. I'm Jen Houston, owner of the Artsy Fartsy Gallery. I'm a full-time independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Canmore, Alberta, Canada. Welcome to Make It Marvelous Monday. So today, we're going to start a whole new bundle. So here's our Make It Marvelous Monday. I switched up some of my graphics just because um, I want to make it easier on myself because it does take a lot of time on the weekends to kind of get everything up and running for the next week. And so if I can save myself a little time, I'm going to. <laughs> and so, of course, today to make ourselves ourselves marvelous, we're already marvelous. But, you know, just to remind ourselves, I suppose, um, we're going to, you know, be creative. We're going to give. That always, you know, gives us... Um, nice feelings right with the warm fuzzies I don't know and we'll also talk a little bit about uh, mental health on Monday here today because it is mental health month in May um, and uh, I'm always working on that <laughs> and if I can keep anybody from having to work on that that's uh, that's a, a plus too so um, today our focus is let's think about how we can make someone's Monday marvelous as well as our own. So we're, that's kind of our, our idea for today. And da, 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 our feature of the week this week is going to be the Forever Blossoms Bundle. Um, I had played around with this a little bit, this bundle, but I hadn't really gotten right into it. And so I'm excited to kind of play with this set this week. If you have this set, hopefully this will give you some ideas on how to work with this set. If you don't have this set, well, I hope <laughs> I hope I can convince you how amazing it is. Um, so this week, my deal is if you spend $75 on an order, you're able, I'm going to send you a free package of pearls this week. And, or if you purchase this bundle, same thing, I'm going to send you those pearls. And you all know how much I love pearls. So that's exciting for me. So I love how everybody's popping on. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. I'm so happy to see you here on, on the Monday. You're making my Monday marvelous just by being here. Thank you to everybody who um, is sharing this video that uh, helps my little business out. It also gets the word out about crafts and um, stamping and card making and it's more than just I guess creating nice little projects. It has kind of um, big purpose and big meaning behind it. As we all know, we're all we're all stampers that I've seen so far, everybody who pops on. We all know that how much it blesses us to give those cards away and you know how much it blesses the people who get the cards. So, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Yes, my necklace is a Christoph Pauli. <laughs> oh, I can't figure myself out. I'm backwards. <laughs> yeah, I like his, his stuff. He's from Montreal. I, my first time I actually um, saw a piece of his work though was in Jerome, Arizona. Has anyone been to Jerome? Um, I love that place. My parents used to go south every winter when they were a little more healthy and stay in Arizona. And so we would we would go visit them at Christmas time every year, and we would always do little little jaunts off from from there. And we'd go to Vegas, or we'd go to we went to um, L.A. one year. We went to uh, San Diego. We'd do these little jaunts. Anyway, so. One of my favorites was Jerome, which is a, like a little artsy fartsy town, <laughs> totally up my alley, and um, lots of fun, fun stores and fun jewelry and fun art and whatnot. And so I found a ring I wore it the other day um, of his, and then I looked him up, and sure enough, he's Canadian. Who knew? So I um, actually found this. Uh, he was doing a one of the craft shows in Winnipeg. And so I got one of his pieces a few years back. So I'm excited to wear it today. I'm just gonna make sure all my screens are on high, the volume, just to make sure that you can hear me. Um, how was your weekend? Tell me, I'd love to hear. 
I sure loved everybody's um, projects yesterday. Once again, I, I flipped through and did the little, I loved looking at them. I didn't have time to um, comment on everybody's, but one of my favorite times during the week because it, you guys are amazing. You have cloudy Manitoba too, Karen? We're cloudy here too. <laughs> it's quite cool today, actually. What's the jeweler's name again? Christoph Pauly, P-O-L-Y. Christoph. So, yeah, he, he's, he makes like chunky architectural kind of stuff. I have his earrings, I have his, I think I have one ring, but I have a few pairs of his earrings, a few necklaces. Um, it's just something a little different, right? And I mean, I, I got used to, um, I tend to wear the same thing over and over and over. So I forced myself uh, a few weeks back. I'm like, no, I'm going into my, you know, jewelry box and I'm going to go through all my jewelry and I'm going to try to rewear some of these things that I haven't worn before because there again, try new things, you know, um, getting out of a routine or a rut can be a little bit uplifting for our mental health. So that's my goal. <laughs> Rewear some of those pieces that have been sitting in that jewelry box for a long time. So, mm hmm. All right. Parisian or Forever Blossoms. I'm going to keep calling it Parisian Blossoms. Parisian Blossoms is the beautiful paper that goes along with this set. Um, and it's on sale. I didn't check to see if it's on, if it's sold out. I should have done that. Anyways. Let me fill up my screen here. Do, 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 do. So that looks good. Oop. All right, so just in case you aren't aware, this is our current mini catalog. Someone with all those beautiful puppies on it. And on page 15 is the bundle, the Forever Blossoms bundle. And a bundle means that it comes with a stamp set and kind of either a punch or these metal dies that you run through the die cutting machine, which is soon going to uh, be brand new for us. So the cool part is, I think I can tell you this, this, this bundle or this, these items are carrying over to the new catalog. However, um, if you love this bundle, you may want to get it now because right now, you can get it at a bundled price, meaning 10% off, right off the hop. Because you bought those two, boom, you can get them uh, at the discount. However, in the new catalog, they're no longer going to be a bundle price. So you're going to end up having to pay that extra 10% because they sell the stamp set and those cherry blossom dies separately. So you won't be able to get the bundle. So that's why I kind of wanted to feature it because yay it's carrying over so you'll be seeing it still for a whole other year plus you know get it now and save yourself 10 percent that's basically the shipping so lovely lovely plus i'm gonna send you pearls <laughs> so as you can see here uh for canadians they knocked down that uh, designer series paper which we're gonna start off with right now knocked it down to 16 dollars, which is exciting so Page 15, if you wanted to follow along. All right, so I'm, I, I looked up some techniques that I'm gonna try with this set. Um, kind of excited to give these things a whirl. So first off, I do wanna start with that designer series paper as kind of a um, focal point, I suppose. But I'm gonna use it kind of in a different way. <laughs> um, We'll see how it goes. So first off, I have a card base. All these measurements and whatnot will be on my blog later today. So if you forget or you don't know what color it is, it'll all be there later on. Basic gray, normal card base, eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. And then I have a piece of the designer series paper here. They're actually <laughs> opposites, if you will. So this piece is actually four by five and a quarter. And then I have another piece here that's kind of, uh, it's not quite as long, but I'm gonna be cutting it up so it doesn't really matter how long it is. 
Um, I kind of wanted to leave this one till the end, this card, but um, we're going to jump into this one first. It is gorgeous DSP. Yes, yes. All right. So, just going to leave that over there. We're going to start with this little piece. It's kind of a little bit lighter. Um, and we're actually going to stamp and color on the DSP. That's allowed. <laughs> Not sure if you knew this. And we did something like this at, um, on stage. On stage? Oh, sheesh, I've forgotten what, it, what all the names were. In um, April? No, November. When we were in Ed, was it when we? Yeah, I guess so, when we were in Edmonton. In November. We did a card something similar to this with stamping on the designer series paper and coloring it in. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so we're gonna stamp on here, like I said. Now, do I wanna go, I can't remember what I, let's go this direction. So I want to basically stamp this stamp all the way across. I'm using the basic gray ink. I want it a little bit darker, but not, I'm going to go down here, but not as intense as black. Just give it a nice little press, make sure it's all on there nicely. Pretty. Doesn't that make it like an antique vintage kind of look? Isn't that beautiful? And now I'm going to get out my stamp and blend. So if you got in on the deal last week, um, you probably got some stamp and blends. Um, I'm going to start with the dark petal pink, and I'm going to color these flowers in, kind of similar to what's happening here. I'm just going to stick with the paper and kind of go with the cues from that. So excited all the people that signed up for CHOP! Oh man, Americans outweighed the Canadians again. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> That's okay. I'm excited to see all of your amazing talents. And you know, you might see the projects in next month think, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this too. And uh, I don't know. Lisa and I were going to do participate as well, but I think Lisa might have ran out of paper. <laughs> so, I don't know, she might not get to participate. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll have to um, make sure we have quite a bit of the supplies next time. So do you see how I'm just kind of coloring in the insides with the dark? And anywhere there's shading on the flower, that, that gives you a big clue as to where kind of the shadows would be. And, oh, let's do these little buds here. Like so. I think it's got most of it. And then I wanted to use some pool party. Chop sounds like so much fun. Yes, I'm so excited. Oh, Karen's in it. <laughs> Karen creates the most, or she's, she sent me, anyways, the most detailed, fancy, out of the box, fun project. So I am excited to see what she comes up with. I know it's gonna be amazing like usual. And some of you have never seen kind of your stamping up or your stamping style. So I don't know what to expect from you. I know one person has mentioned, I think my stamp it, or my pool party is drying out. I've used it so much. Oh, there, that's a little better. Need to get another one. Put that on my order list. How many are, have signed up? Uh, Lisa has 11, and as of this morning, I have seven. I know, right? How fun. So, 
We are thrilled. Okay, is this one dried up too? <laughs> Stick with that. I wish it was a little darker, but you can't always get what you want, right? Okay. Now, do I go around the... No, this one I didn't. Okay. On this paper, I don't know if you can see, but there in the background is stamped these little images. Um, I don't know if I should stamp in some the stamps that comes with this little piece I don't know if I should go in with some pool party flowers kind of or not if we should just leave it as is I think I'm gonna leave it but I kind of wanna that's great grammar I'm going to use my light smoky slate and I just want to add a kind of a shadow line so I'm just going to go around basically the whole thing you don't have to do this this is just kind of a sometimes it'll make it stand out a little more so. Oh, there's the bell. See how it kind of pops a little more? It's a little more second generation flowers. Yes, not full strength, but I was thinking second or third or fourth. Yeah, just something a little bit light just to bring in that pool party color a little more since my Stampin' Blend needs to have a little bit of a, a, a second generation, it's second generation, I guess. Yes, I was gonna say, somebody is even thinking about doing a mixed media piece. That's my favorite. I'm so thrilled. So she'll, she'll see what she can do and how she's feeling. And if the pieces, you know, of course they have to, have to kind of give you an idea, right? So when you look at them, you kind of, something will pop out for you as to what to do with them. And hopefully it's a mixed media piece for her because that's, that's thrilling. I think I'm losing a lot of the pool party. By outlining, I think. But I think it'll make the whites pop a little bit more. If you want a little more white, I suppose you could go in with the, um, let's try it, more highlights, with a um, watercolor pencil crayon, and just, yeah, get a little bit of, oh, more Wink of Stella, there's Wink of Stella too, right? not popping as much as I thought it would. That's okay. We will perhaps, I'm going to use Wink and Stella actually because on this designer series paper, I don't know if you can see the silver, that might have been nice to emboss with silver instead of stamping in basic gray. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Love the sparkle. Those you can't see. So I went 
went into Calgary on the weekend to go to a couple plant stores. We love our plants. Something we like to do together. And um, so we checked out some new places. And then um, we actually ended up in Okotoks since we were at that end, the south end of the city. It was fast for us, for, to go, uh, for us to go to Okotoks to go, um, go to Costco then to drive back to into the city to um, go to a Costco there. It was much quieter in Okotoks too, so that was a plus too. All right, I'm gonna get out this die here and cut this piece out. Now I, I put this on this DSP in a certain spot on purpose, um, meaning I kind of wanted it the bottom third if you will. Okay, I've just got some little sticky notes. Let's run this through. Okay. So now you're gonna start to see the process. How this is a little different. Okay, so I'm going to actually keep this top layer and I'm going to end up gluing it over top of this layer and adding, okay, I'm not liking that. That is way too busy. It knocks out those flowers way too much. So you know what I'm going to do? Let's just go or we can use white. Or we can use the pool party. I could use a pool party bottom. I could use um, white, which I'll have to cut. Uh, I could use the it's petal tape, I believe. see what we think here. If we use the pool party, it might bring out some of the pool party a little more in those leaves. We could also do smoky slate, which I think, hmm, I don't know if it would be too grayish. bucket of scraps is for smoky slate. This might be a little calmer. Mm -hmm. I think I like that. What do you think? Petal pink? Mm. I think I'm going with smoky. Kind of goes with the outline. Yeah, let's try it. Okay. Well, so much for using the uh, <laughs> the DSP. Oh, let's cut this at a normal card base size so I can use the scrap for um, a card base at some point. You guys like pool party? Uh, Rhonda says yes. Smoky slate. Amy says pool party. Sue, I don't know. Smoky slate. You know, we might. I I think I have an idea how we can tie in that pool party. 
we'll, we'll add it in there, I promise. Okay, let's put this on here then. I know it's kind of weird, but this is actually gonna get glued to our card base along with my hair. <laughs> that one, I normally I can blame it on the dogs, but that one was way too long to be any of my dogs. Okay, and I'm gonna just have to help this little guy, this little piece a little bit here. Get in there. There, I'm just gonna line it up nicely. Let's add a little bit under this little piece here, just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm wondering, I suppose we could pop it up. Sorry guys, I'm <laughs> sniffly. I went outside this morning to take the dogs out and, and ever since then I've just been sniffling allergies of some sort. I think for this one, I'm not going to do it on this card. For I'll do it in a card later on. Um, for this card, I'm just going to leave it down. Yeah, let's leave it. All right, so let's just go in with some snail. Our last one for snail. Pop it up. Oh. Maybe the next one. Let's do the next one popped up. Or the next one. There's three we're going to do. Okay. I like it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, here's my thoughts for Pool Party. We could have our little saying down here. We could have, let's put it up here. I think I like it better up there. What do you think? I know it's dull down here, but I think I'm going to add some Pool Party pearls down there. Um, I think I'm going to make this one. You mean so much to me. I like that. Pretty same. And you know, I need to make a Mother's Day card. So you mean so much to me would be a nice Mother's Day saying. I'm just going to make this quite narrow. Eh, let's try the other side. Sometimes these long, narrow stamps, I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it helps to stamp them upside down. I don't know if it's just a mental thing or... Oh, that did not work at all. Okay, <laughs> forget my theory. <laughs> all right, let's get out my little trimmer here just to snip this down. A little bit smaller in size. Let's see. Okay, I like the gray with the strip of pool party. Yeah, like that. That portion. now let's leave those wink of Stella shiny flowers well let's do it down here then let's do it okay let's pop that guy up so I'm gonna use some dimensionals here give it a little bit of height on this layer peel off the backs You were very busy with your cards this weekend. That's pretty exciting. Some of you are making cards for other people to give away, which was so nice. That's so neat. 
Okay, so there's that portion. And I wanna tie in some pool party up here. So let me get out my pearls and the dark pool party. And let's color some in. Now I don't know how dark this is gonna get. Probably not a ton. For one, they're running low. <laughs> Two, it is it is a light color. And I'll do a little, a little one. So a small, medium, and a large. And I'll put those up top. Okay. That one. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna go down there. And that one. I think that'll work. But isn't that a neat way to just, you know, use only a part of the paper and cut it out? I, I'm not coming across well. Um, basically, you know, you're using only part of the image with the paper. <laughs> I think you can see. Let's get out that liquid glue. Throw that on there. So, and here is my card insert that I made ahead of time. So I just, uh, oh, it's going to have those flowers on here now. That's okay. It's all good. Um, that will go as my insert. If you didn't get much pool party on the outside, you're gonna get some more on the inside. And then for the envelope, see this is how I I um, stamp that wee little flower in the background behind. And then here's where I use that pink DSP. But I don't know if you can see, there's just a few little spots of that pool party flower. I may still go in and do a couple just to kind of tie it all together but how pretty right love it so that's our first card done so we're going to do that same sort of idea but changing things up a little i'm not going to use the designer series paper and i'm not going to use the colors of the designer series paper Sometimes, do you find this? Do you get in a rut? You see the designer series paper and you like it. It's beautiful. It's stunning. But then all your projects tend to be um, those colors. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. Does anyone else have problems with the pearlescent coating coming off the pearls when you color them with blends? Well, it does dull it down a little, doesn't it? I suppose it does. Hmm. Maybe that alcohol kind of does something to, to the coating. I had never thought of that before. Huh. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I've never, never really thought about it too much. All right, for this one. I'm going to use my So Saffron. I kind of want, I, I want it to stick with the light, calm colors. <laughs> so my So Saffron, and I'm going to use very vanilla this time instead of Whisper White. Uh, instead of using some designer series paper for my background, I wanted to use the Parisian something something embossing folder and see how that prints that nice pattern on there. Oh, stunning. And that does go with this set. Um, 
this embossing folder. So I thought, well, let's use it. <laughs> and then here again, I thought that I would stamp with crumb cake with another very vanilla. I kind of want to make this very, very monotone and very, very calm. And here's kind of my colors. So the crumb cake, the so saffron, and a little bit of petal pink. Just want them very, very simple. Okay, let's go in and color this guy up. I have the light petal pink, which I'm just using on the insides of the flowers. Does anyone have a trick for, who was it? Janet, does anyone do something to help prevent that or? So I'm just going on the insides mainly with the pink, light petal pink. And then I'm gonna, oh, let's go put a little in here on these little buds. And then I'm gonna go in with the um, So Saffron, the light color, and kind of where there are more little lines, I'm just going in with the So Saffron on those. didn't have any um, leaves on these projects um, but I did some splattering in the old olive the light old olive so we'll see see how this goes if it's too dark I hope not we don't have to color much in if it's too too dark I don't I think that's okay this gives it a little something there again you don't like don't have to color them in just color Kind of where the shadows are and maybe that's enough. If you don't have these stamp and blends, I'm I would encourage you to give them a try. They are so great for different projects. Coloring the things in coloring up your rhinestones, make them what color you want, right? That kind of saves you money in the long run by just making your own. I think I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not gonna color those in. I kind of want to keep the, um, white, white, if you will. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with crumb cake, the light, light, light one. And there again, I'm just gonna do a little bit of a, shadow line so if you go more so on the line as opposed to beside the line it's a little less um, wide I suppose I like that that's a little less dark than say that smoky slate was but it adds a little I don't know if you can see but it just adds that little shadow you love your blends? Yes. You need that folder. Yes, it is a beauty for sure. have to stop and blow my nose soon. Nobody wants my little <laughs> a drip on their cars. <laughs> Nobody wants to listen to me go <laughs> either. sanitizer right here 
clean off my hands before I continue. Pretty spring colors. They're just so soft. I have to at some point though, push myself outside the box and do something super, super bright with this set. I just, I just do. It's a must, right? All right, here we go. To remember where you've gone and where you have to go back and do. <laughs> and this side. Did I get that leaf? I think I did. There. I think I'm good. All right. Now we're going to go in again and cut this out with our die cutting machine. I think I can reuse these little little bits. I think that looks good. I wanted to try yellow as opposed to pink for these blossoms. So last time I came down from the top, I, I kind of had my piece like so, right from the top. But this time I'm gonna go up from the bottom. Why not? So let's get this piece here, our fancy embossed piece. I can get rid of this for right now. And let's glue that right over top. Get some little snail pieces on those little portions. Should have got out my silicone craft mat. I did find it. <laughs> I cleaned up on the weekend again, just to make sure, well, for, reason why I was cleaning I have lost a stamp and a block so I totally thought Indy had taken it under the bed where she usually does or under the couch and I was expecting to have it under there but it wasn't so then I was gonna go in the garbage and just have a look and I and I got to the garbage and I'm like mm -mm, it's, it's too stinky I can't do it <laughs> Oh my, I guess I'm just gonna lose my stamp. I don't know. So I'm sure it'll turn up somewhere. Who knows where? You know how they do. Okay. Oh, I guess we're going this way. So, like so. I'm gonna pop this one up. I think let's try that and see what we think. So. I'm probably going to get out my mini dimensionals for this one. Or of course you can cut these big ones in half, but it's so much easier just to get the littles out and go. So on the leaves, easy, on the branch, um, put some over here and there. Two there. Once you start putting so many dimensionals on, you have to take all those backs off. <laughs> 44. Darn. I know I'm trying to get to 45 minutes. My next card though is pretty much done. I just have to assemble, so it won't be much longer. Won't keep you too, too long. But I wanted to show you this neat idea 
with the snap set. Get off my finger. Oh my. And I have dimensionals everywhere. Oh, come, come. Now to kind of line everything up before committing. Everybody looks good. Looks good, looks good. I like that popped up. That's neat. I don't know if you can tell. Just adds another layer of something, right? So you got the layer of the texture. This popped up a little. That's neat. Now, I do have... Oh, here. The petal pink ribbon that matches with this set. Do a little bow. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like on the yellow first off. Maybe the pink is just too much. Well, it's not bad. I feel like it needs something right here, which could be the sentiment. going to use friend for this one. Oh sheesh. I had my little stamp mini trimmer on my little stamp here and it <laughs> squished her down. That's all right. So I had crumb cake for this. I used crumb cake. I don't know if I want to use. Yeah, I'll use very vanilla. I think I think I want to keep this pretty nice and subtle. Bow, maybe you're thinking bows, yeah. Okay, that's what I think too. And friend is really tiny, so I'm thinking I may just go in with the oh, this is everyday label, classic label. This has saved me many from boo-boos with um, sayings, <laughs> with the greetings if I make a mistake. It's a great little tool to just fix things up. Okay. Sorry, everybody. I'm working away down here, baby trimmer. <laughs> See what it looks like. Do I need a little more? Yes, I do. Did you get any more people, Lisa, this morning? For chopped? I got one more. Let's see it. Lucky number seven. Go, Canada. Come on. <laughs> we're having a big competition or anything but maybe one day <laughs> we're gonna have a global showdown I don't know hmm not sure let's put this down first I think I'm going to snip it off. Let's take that portion off. Let's pop that up. Let's use the minis. I suppose I could glue this down first. That would, although if I want to do a bow. What if I was just to go like this and then go like this? That might be cute too. Okay. 
Okay, let's just glue her down. Of course, I'm going to use my liquid glue just because of all the bumps on that patterned paper. We embossed it. my friend. Nope, ran out of supplies. Don't even have a sample for myself. 11 Canadi Americans, 7 Canadians. I know, right? Impressive. I am thrilled. I'm so excited to see everybody's creativity. Okay, let's just go like something like Blue dots. I don't think there is any. Is there any stone saffron ribbon? I don't think so. This um, petal pink actually kind of goes with this. Now, I normally don't like having things off the card base because doesn't uh, fit in the envelope. Okay, these scissors are needing a clean. Just wash them with alcohol, rubbing alcohol, or um, and some lemon essential oils. It just takes that goo and the gunk right off. There we go. Now let's add some pearls, 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 pearls. And I have the, is this the dark one? Yes, dark petal pink stamping blend. So let's color it up. I don't know if it's going to show that much or not. I suppose I could do um, old olive as well. Go like that. And I take your pick too. This is my one that's done. I need to replace. It's probably going to take a month or so before. I get you know how it works. Hmm. Make a little triangle. Sure. All right, there we go. There's our little card, so soft and pretty. But neat way how it, uh, you know, how you can break up your paper by um, cutting that little section out. So I suppose you could do that with different flowers, right? Like I've done this. Ooh, I should try that one time. I've done this kind of idea along the side of a card. I haven't done it across though before. So that's it's been fun to give this a try. Uh, my insert, of course. Oh, I did splatter the green. Let's splatter. All about the splatter. All right. Whoop, let's not go that end. Now you will see it's pretty disastrous. Okay, just to tie this in with this. This is my little insert. And then my envelope, I did the same sort of deal. And on the flap, I just stamped the stamp across. Second generation, just to be nice and light. So there you go, there's the difference between full strength and kind of the second generation look. Both are pretty. All right, last card, which is pretty much done. We just are going to assemble. I wanted to do something a little brighter, a little different. Force myself to try some things. Stuck with gray granite, my favorite. <laughs> and I thought, okay, let's make our own DSP here. And I use Pacific po uh, Pool Party, no, Pacific Point, pardon me, stamp those flowers, those single flowers all over that paper 
in Pool uh, Pacific Point, pardon me. And I don't know if you can see, but I'm in love with that Settles embossing folder, which just gives it that material look. So I ran it through both directions. You place the, really like that you place the die horizontally. Yeah our, in, yeah, our inclination is to put it the other way. We've probably all done that card. But so yeah, I just wanted to try something a little different. So here's going to be kind of our background layer. I pre-cut this out. Now do we want to go this direction? Or this direction? <laughs> I like that. What do you think? Very bright for me. I know. <laughs> There's no pineapple punch or anything, but <laughs> get a little wild and moly. All right, so for the colors, I colored them in with actually the uh, balmy blue um, because there is no Pacific Point um, stamp and blend. So I just did the centers more so with the balmy blue. And then I did a little bit of pool party, <clears throat> pardon me, and I did mint macaron. And then I outlined everything again with the gray granite. I know this blue is just so pretty. I do like it. Okay, I feel like we need something right there. What do you think? We don't have anything Pacific Point. We can make it Pacific Point. We can, let's see, I had, what, mint macaron? We do have the mint macaron little ribbon that could be pretty um, there's that white we can color it up with I don't know pool party we can also go in with the same I had a little piece of pool party oh here's one you can always just throw Mm, no. Ooh, just a minute. Just a minute. I wonder what would happen. Got a thought here. Hang on. <laughs> what if we trim this a little narrower and left a border? Okay, so this is normally four, so let's go. And I kind of think it, let's put an extra, oh sheesh, that's dirty. Let's put an extra layer behind. That looks pretty too. <laughs> derailed, got derailed. Okay, let's make this too. Makes this the normal five and a quarter plus two little bumps. Technical term. Sorry, everyone. Whacked you with my. <laughs> okay. So if we add this to here. Although I love my smoky slate, my gray granite. And it's covering it up too much. Just a minute. Let's take off. Quarter. Quarter. It should make it right there. And let's trim this then down by an eighth of an inch on each side. So that should be there. Okay, and I think I'm gonna, there's my white piece. I cut the one side, but I didn't cut the other. I'm gonna trim that just an eighth of an inch. Let's see what it looks like. This 
make it a little smaller. If we leave a little layer, where's my cool potty? Then this will stick out a little. And past that white layer, which kind of looks kind of cool. What do you think? I like that. Exactly what I was thinking. Add a mint layer. Do you want a mint layer? Or not pool party? Should this, should the Pacific Point be smaller yet? Narrower? Do you think? Or go with this? I don't know. I think I want to add that mint ribbon now. We add the mint ribbon. Do we need more pool party showing? Now I'm just gonna go with a little. We'll just go with a little. Um, I am tempted, because it's me. <laughs> Before I use this layer, I'm popping up, popping out something and keeping that for later because nobody's gonna see what's inside here. It's such a waste if you, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what's gonna happen, right? When I need a little label that's pool party, I'm gonna cut another one out. <laughs> okay, go. There we go. Pool party. I think I'm going to glue this right to this layer and then we can put our ribbon over top. Oh my god, don't get in there. Like so. And we'll add my little mint macaron. And a bow, no, I think let's do a bow. Okay, this side has less going on, so let's go. I'm going to put some snail on the back of this just to help hold my ribbon. Oh, I hear the people coming to clean our parkade. Absolutely filthy from the winter. They don't use salt here on the roads. They just use gravel. Oh my goodness. Talk about dusty, dusty storm. I guess it helps with the wildlife. So when it gets super icy, they just use the gravel and no salt. Which, I don't know. Definitely is. I don't want that crooked. There. I have to hold that there. Maybe I'll tie a knot first. Eh, still okay. What about if I turn it over here? It's just can't, it like turned on me, if you know what I mean. I don't really want that milk. So I'll just turn it the way it wants to sit. There we go. I'm gonna pull it a little tight. Up, that's right. Little bow. Let's put this layer on now. I've gotten down to my little foot, foot square foot uh, crafting space. <laughs> Stuff all around. It's amazing how we can craft in such a little tight spot. Okay, that's good. Good, good. Now, I think I'd pop it up. What do you think? Let's pop it. I think so. Now, what you can do, 
because the salt is tough on vehicles. Yes. Watching you and feeding four cats banana muffin handouts. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Now what you can do is take, yeah, I was gonna say, I think there's a little spot there. Um, you can take your dye, cut out another layer. Say I cut out, I don't know, Knight of Navy. And then you can just kind of just place it a little bit off of this image and it makes it kind of look a, even more 3D. I did see that somewhere. I thought, that's smart. I like that idea. Okay, we're popping this layer. Looks so pretty on the last one. Fit in there? Sure. Will this fit? Yes. Nice. Just. I think we're golden. Might want to put those little guys there just to help hold that leaf up. No saggy leaves. I think that's good. Okay. So once again, if you didn't see the beginning, this Forever Blossoms bundle is the feature this week. And I'm gonna be playing with it every day, showing you different ideas on how to use it. I'm also going to um, give you a deal bonus if you order this bundle. I'm going to give you those pearls which we need to add to this. Ooh, we don't have Pacific Point stamp and blends. I guess we could, uh, pool party so light. We could just go with straight white even. We could go down there. I still think something needs to happen here. Maybe a saying. We could do. I'm gonna white emboss a sight saying onto Pacific Point, I think, something. And then I'll put that there. So pearls. We could, how about we just put the white pearls? We could even do pop-up yellow. Um ooh dare add in another layer uh, take your picture let's just add these pearls to the center of these flowers make it the you know little hip surprise there that's pretty I like it Can you see those just a little hit of something right pretty Okay, so I'm gonna come back, get that done the, um, with the pool par uh, Pacific Point, pardon me, saying embossed with white to bring in the white, um, kind of calm this area down a little. I could also flick some pool party on there. Um, I, since, like I said, there is no stamp and blend that's Pacific Point. However, if you have a an aqua painter, which are right, uh, are they uh, still around? I don't know. If they're not, Stampin' Up's coming up with something similar-ish uh, in the next catalog, so don't fear. Um, I could go into the ink and flick on some spray. That's an option. We'll see. I'll play around with it. And then you have to come back to my blog. Yellow pearls would pop, wouldn't they? Yeah. Even Mango Melody, I think... Although that's, that's throwing me off, I think. I think my bow is throwing me for a loop somehow. So we'll see. I might just, you know, you, I could even just stamp this, a sentiment right here without the bow. I could do stamp a sentiment in Mango Melody and hit up those pearls with Mango Melody. Oh, options, options. Okay, so you will see this on my blog, all complete. 
see how I ended up finishing it off. Um, here is my little insert layer that I'm going to put on the gray granite, like so. And for the envelope, I kind of did the same sort of idea and just stamped those flowers like I did on our paper here, just willy nilly all over. And now I see I've got a little blob here. So this envelope is going to get a little splatter. <laughs> That's my fix for it, I tell you. It works amazing if you get these little things from your fingers, things from just, oh shoot, it got rubbed off my paper. Just get out the Stampin' Blends, or like I say, you can get the Aqua Painter out with the ink and just give it a little and oh, it disappears because it's all kind of looks like it was meant to be there. <laughs> all right, everyone. You know what I forgot to do? We forgot to talk about our mental health bit. So, um, today, that's what I want. Today, what my um, calendar, remember, I don't know if I showed you my calendar, but I got a calendar from my Happiness Basics course that I'm taking, and every day it asks you to do some things um, kind of to help make your May meaningful. And since it's mar make your marvelous, your, make your Monday marvelous, make it marvelous Monday, um, let's think about this. Focus on what you can do instead of what you can't. So whether it's in the crafting department, if you just know you're not good at something, well think about all the amazing things that you can do. Um, I know sometimes I have limitations on what I can do physically because of my fibro. Um, but there are lots of other things that I can do. I'm always harped at, right? You gotta exercise, you gotta exercise. <sighs> yeah, so um, I don't love exercise. I don't, it hurts. It's not always the best for me. However, um, I can do amazing cards. And I would much rather do amazing cards. <laughs> this might backfire a little here, but but let's let's think about that today. What can you don't instead of dwelling on those things that we can't do? I can't go and buy myself a nice mansion here in the Canmore in the mountains, but I can have my little condo here tucked away in with the beautiful view. What can we do today? And definitely you all have amazing talents, which I'm so excited to see coming up. And, I, and um, you send me cards, which I know are absolutely stunning and beautiful. So I know that you have this amazing gift. Share it, share it, share it in a form of a card, share it in a form of a, a, a home decor piece whole giving piece right so you've created it you've enjoyed it, the moment of creating and now it's something that continues on right make somebody's day you have fibro too Gina isn't it horrid so thank you reminds me of death oh that that's that blue and white pottery yeah that's what I was kind of going for in the first place was I wanted that blue and white kind of look and then I got added, got adding colors in and next thing you know, boom, it was over. But <laughs> anyways, um, all right. Um, if you haven't seen this yet, this should have been on my blog, but today is Mail It Out Monday. So if you head back for before this post, before this video on my Facebook page, you will see this little sign, Mail It Out Monday and you get to pick a number between one and 10. And I believe today, if you have a birthday in May, I'm letting you pick two numbers. Yay, it's more chances to win. So if your number's picked tomorrow, then I'm gonna send you a handmade card in the mail. It's always fun to receive handmade, handmade cards. I know we send out lots, but it's also like, it's so fun to receive, right? So go back and get that done. Um, share it with your friends so maybe they have a chance of winning especially those people who have a May birthday just saying extra little happy mail in the mail I know my friend Lori in um, Manitoba she has birthday month <laughs> she does the whole month as her birthday so actually 
I think it's this. This is her birthday. No, she's October. Pardon me. Never mind. No, no, never mind. She's <laughs> so she celebrates the entire month, which I absolutely love. I think that's so neat. It puts a lot less pressure on the day, doesn't it? I know a lot of people forget my birthday family, but that's okay. If you had to celebrate the whole month, well, you have a, a larger span to, you know, <laughs> cope with those things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, everybody. If this uh, stamp set bundle, oh, that's wrong. Let's just take that off. That host code's wrong. You can always email me. You can always message me. You can sh uh, shop online and I can help you do all those kinds of things. But I know you're gonna wanna get this set as the bundle for the bundle price, 10% off, plus get those beautiful pearls that are, are gonna work beautifully with this set. All right, everybody, I'm not gonna be on tomorrow. Tomorrow's my team day where I do a video for my team and I also get caught up on all my happy mail. So you will see me pop on to pick the uh, Mail It Out Monday number and um, maybe a few other things. And then I will give you some ideas as to who to send a card to, as well as a nice template. Um, you can use your own, your own prod products, um, post a picture of it, and then I'll be drawing a winner for that. So I know we ended up some, with some incredible projects last week. So bring that on tomorrow and then I will see you back here Wednesday when we do the color combo. I think we're gonna have nice calm colors this week. <laughs> Oh, my sneaky little trick. I figured people probably don't have like bright yellow and purple and you know mango melody house <laughs> pineapple punch house so I should be safe with the house colors <laughs> anyways stop babbling nice chatting with you everybody I will go back and read your comments and chit chat with you later on have a wonderful day everybody bye